Our news teams remain in place right now to bring you comprehensive coverage of what's happening. Let's start in Detroit, where things have been chaotic at times. Heather Walker is live, where absentee vote counting continues. Heather? The vote continues and the mood much calmer now. Just a few minutes ago, we saw another group of challengers come in. As this vote continues, I just asked for an update. At last check, there were six tables still counting. We're waiting to get an update on that number. The only information we were told is that you'll be home by bedtime. So what that means, we'll have to wait and see. But this was the scene earlier today. Take a look at one moment. People kept out of this room because the election officials said that they were at capacity, and that caused an uproar from the crowd. They were banging on the windows, uh, getting into verbal arguments with election officials, saying that they were trying to keep out Republican challengers. Republican challengers saying that they did not have an equal amount of challengers in here. Now, there are Republican challengers, there are Democratic challengers, and there are nonpartisan challengers. One challenger per party per table. Those are the rules. But some people thought that it was not fair. Take a listen. Forth up and downstairs. It's obviously, you know, chaos right now. So we're trying to get a hold of, you know, what do we do, guys? Because nobody knows what we can or can't do. Obviously, it's uncharted water right now. So we're trying to figure it out. We're trying to figure it out. But, you know, it's crazy. And if the cops are coming, escorting us out, we're not going to sit there. I am part of a group of nonpartisan challengers. We've been here watching, unimpeded, watching the process, being able to see every aspect of it. And I have seen my counterparts from different partisan challenger organizations here observing every part of the process. Now police have had to step in, but so far they are keeping the peace as the count continues here in Detroit. We're going to stay here. I'll let you know what happens. Reporting live in Detroit, Heather Walker, News 8. Heather, do we know if that was a, a coordinated protest? I mean, all those folks seem to show up at the same time. They definitely appeared to show up at the same time. They also definitely appeared to show up right after the announcement came out from the Trump camp saying that they were planning to uh, contest the vote here, saying that they didn't think that it was fair. Whether that was ironic or planned, we may never know. All right, Heather Walker uh, stationed for us in Detroit tonight watching that count. Thank you, Heather.